just about an hour north of Tucson, you'll find this, the world's largest controlled environment dedicated to understanding the impacts of climate change. We're talking about the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2. A two-year project inside the Biosphere 2 that started in 1991 captured headlines around the world. And while that experiment ended just two years later, the research at Biosphere 2 keeps going three decades later. Here's News 4 Tucson's Megan Spector. Behind me is 3.14 acres of science inside human-made ecosystems dedicated to helping us understand the future of our planet. A world within walls where habitats grow and research thrives, built to better understand how our Earth operates. We're doing things right here in southern Arizona that give us greater insight to what's happening in the tropics, what's going to happen to our coral reefs, how our mangrove systems may or may not change. We have a rainforest, we have an ocean, we have a tropical savanna, we have a mangrove system. In 1991, a group of eight with varied backgrounds closed an airtight door. That moment began a two-year experiment inside the facility that caught the world's attention. Fundamental the reason Biosphere 2 was originally built was to understand Earth systems. And that original experiment didn't go completely as they had planned. And so a lot of people will refer to it as an ex a failed experiment, but there's no such thing as a failed experiment because they learned a tremendous amount. It's been 30 years since that group of eight exited Biosphere 2, but the research has not stopped. The key, having control. Energy Center, can we please make it rain in the northeast quadrant? We can control the temperature and experiment that, let it go to higher temperatures and then see can the plants actually withstand these higher temperatures or not. And as our planet continues to evolve, so does the facility, like adding lights to the ocean in preparation for experiments with climate change. Because corals get 60% of their food through photosynthesis, we wanted to make sure that we were not stressing them from a light perspective so that when we do change the water temperature or we change the water chemistry to look at how those corals deal with those changes, we know it's because of the change we're making and not because of the light limitations. Three decades after the original experiment, Biosphere 2 is still hosting research that's the first of its kind. There's no place that you can test on a large scale the responses of complex ecosystems. We can do it here at Biosphere 2. Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson.